Dear friends, welcome to my new video. Today I will present you how to turn your cell phone in oscilloscope using Raspberry Pi Pico and Scoopy software. First of all, we need our multi-tester. Let's turn it on. Two of these resistors. At first, I am going to connect the Raspberry Pi Pico in this in my computer. Okay. Then I am going to download this file then I am going to move it in uh, the memory of uh, the Raspberry Pi which there are these uh, two files Okay. Now we can see that the my, that my computer stopped to recognize the Raspberry Pi Pico, and we can see that the LED is blinking. Uh, Raspberry Pi Pico works. If we are looking in. Uh, devices but I will remove it by the computer to remove safety but now I am uh, I will connect to my cell phone I can see that the Raspberry Pi works fine uh, but now let's check it in the Scoopy I connected the uh, oscilloscope in the cell phone, but now I am going in the Scoopy software. Okay. Okay, now I will uh, connect my... Here I have the function generator DY kit, you know it. But now, let's turn on the function generator. Okay. Now, I will uh, test the square wave. Wow, it works fine. The project works. Okay, let's bring in the function generator here to see the project. Okay, this is the ground. Okay, I will connect. Okay. 
Wow, fine. The project works. Sorry for the bad connection. Wow, the project works fine. Now let's test and the sign wave. Sorry, I. We know that the sine and triangle wave uh, in this function generator are the same. Now let's test the triangle wave. Wow, the project works fine. But now let's see and the sine wave. Okay, I don't know to increase the voltage of the of this uh, software to see clearly the waves. If you have any idea, uh, please tell me in the comments about how to increase the voltage of the wave in the in this uh, software. Maybe I am looking for it. But I can see that the project, sorry, uh, problem with the ground. I can see that the project works fine. So, now, I hope that you like my video. Don't forget to subscribe in my channel. And if you have any questions about this project, please tell me in the comments. See you in my next video!